A person is shot outside a bar in El Centro, and police are still searching for multiple suspects. Good evening. I'm Jessica McLean. And I'm Scott Gross. Reporter Karina Bazarte went to the area where the shooting took place and shares what we know so far. The El Centro Police Department says the suspects involved never entered the bar, but shot the victim right in front of the establishment. The shooting happened Sunday morning at Lovins Cantina. The victim that was shot in the upper chest area was rushed to the hospital and is currently in stable condition. The lead investigator says there are at least six men involved in the shooting. Weapons used were different calibers. Um, and they were handguns used in the shooting, um, from what we can tell you right now. He says the suspects all fled the scene before police arrived. All the subjects involved um, fled the scene in separate vehicles, and they were not located the night of the shooting, but we are working diligently to identify all those involved and bring them to justice. The owner of a smoke shop located in front of the cantina says not a lot of crime happens in the area. Yeah, I was surprised, yeah. But, and as far as my immediate reaction, this was, you know, concern if anybody was hurt. I didn't have no problem walking around here at night by myself or anything like that. Yeah. Maybe a little further south might be, get a little bit hairier, but. No, here on Main Street? Yeah, no, there's, and they've got cameras and stuff here now, too. The Central Police Department says they don't know if there was any connection between the victim and the suspects at the moment, as it's still under investigation. If you have more information on this case, you are asked to please call the Central Police Department. Reporting from El Centro, I'm Karina Basarte. Attorneys for the two suspects charged with murdering a popular Somerton barber in his own garage were granted an extra 30 days to go over newly discovered evidence. The extensions for Johnny Albert Venezuela and Greg Gregorgio Cota were approved Thursday. Meanwhile, Gregorgio's brother Joshua Cota was also in court. His attorney said significant progress was made at Thursday, Thursday's settlement conference. All three are charged with murdering 28-year-old Leo Melendez, who was shot in May of last year. The suspects will be back in court next month. Arizona Governor Katie Hobbs highlighted recent local wins in her first State of the Address here in Yuma. Adam Klepp interviewed the governor after the event at AWC and joined us now breaking it all down. The governor's Yuma-centric speech focused on immigration, water, and housing, as she also highlighted the local leaders she's looking to to fill key positions within her administration. Yuma will thrive for generations to come. Governor Hobbs says the state of the state and the state of Yuma is strong. However, her visit comes on the heels of an executive order which prevents county attorneys from prosecuting Arizonans who break state abortion law. Yuma's county attorney signed a letter asking Governor Hobbs to rescind it, but she says the order will stay in place. Yeah, I, I'm really confident in the legal foundation for that order. The governor also mentioned the water deal she signed with Lower Basin State Governors, preventing the federal government coming in to make cuts. She says her administration is focused on securing the water supply for all Arizonans, but did not say if she supports the city and county of Yuma's lawsuit over Colorado River water transfers to Queen Creek. It's something that we're certainly looking at in terms of what our position is on that. Local leaders continue to be tapped for key positions in the governor's administration. Governor Hobbs recognized Paul Brierly, who was nominated to be the director of the Department of Agriculture. She also asked Yuma Mayor Doug Nichols to serve on her housing and homelessness task force. What I hope to be able to do is present what the Yuma area's uh, true needs are and what would be successful and, and impactful here. The annual Yuma State of the State is a fundraiser for the Yuma County Chamber of Commerce. Executive Director Kim Kale says this year's event likely raised over $10,000 for local businesses. I appreciate the business community and the Yuma County community for helping us make this a success so that we can put in even more programs that help our local businesses create jobs. This was Governor Hobbs' fourth visit to Yuma County since taking office in January and her third visit in just the last two months. Reporting in Yuma, Adam Klepp, News 11. More on the governor. While she refuses to rescind her abortion-related prosecution order, birth control is now available over-the-counter for Arizonans without a prescription. The legislation was passed into law in 2021, but needed to follow 
with a set of rules. The Arizona Department of Health Services issued a statewide standing order this week enabling patients to visit, phar visit pharmacies in their community to receive the contraceptives. You must be 18 years old and older when Yuma resident says he has three younger sisters and they can benefit from this in the future. The last thing I want is for them to be teen with parents as a parent. Um, it should be your body, your choice, and if you can grab it off the counter, you should be able to do that instead of go through the extra loose and get it prescribed. ADHS says not all pharmacies are participating, so you're encouraged to call before going in, and it may take some time for pharmacists to get up to speed. At a public meeting, Zid Cole, a hazardous waste company, was planning on hosting to inform the community about the special use permit for a hazardous waste facility here in Yuma. Has been canceled. The meeting was planned originally for July 13th. The plan to expand a hazardous waste operation just one block from Yuma Palms Mall and near Farmland is raising a lot of eyebrows. Sid Cole says their facility is prepared to handle and store hazardous waste. After much back and forth, the Planning and Zoning Commission approved the special use permit for Zitcol's hazardous waste facility back in April. However, the final decision regarding the special use permit will come from the Yuma County Board of Supervisors at their next meeting on August 7th. And now let's check in with our temperatures. It's been a hot week so far, and even right now, temperatures are hot, but pretty typical for this time of year. So average conditions with us, so not too bad. So as we head into this weekend, we'll continue to have seasonable heat with us. However, things are really going to heat up next week and we do have already um, weather alerts issued for the heat. So I'll have more details in my full forecast on how hot we're talking as we head into next week coming up. It's still getting hotter. <laughs> when it comes to the heat, hydration is a high priority for everyone across the desert southwest. News 11 Samantha Bird shares how local businesses are giving back to community members who don't have access to fresh drinking water during the intense heat. During the summertime, Crossroads Mission gives out over 10 cases of water per day. And now, thanks to the Summer of Giving Water Challenge, they will have more than enough water to serve those in need. Water, the key to staying hydrated in the desert southwest. But not everyone has access to H2O. So local businesses decided to take action. Yuma Investment Group decided to challenge local businesses to match our $500 donation towards water to keep the public hydrated during the summer months. The money and water donated by each local business will benefit residents who are helped at Crossroads Mission. The pallets, I mean, we could go through those in a, a week, yeah. so we go through a lot of water. Yuma Investment Group first challenged Core Engineering Group, and they quickly got on board with their matching $500 donation. You know, $500 here and there is good, but if we can get 10, 20 more businesses to do the same thing, then it really helps secure the water. For, for everybody here in our area. Together, the businesses are extending the invitation to help the entire community. We are just so thankful for the Yuma community and the help that they give us. Visit our website at kyma.com to see how you can help. Reporting in Yuma, Samantha Bird, News 11. Thank you, Samantha. With the long, hot summer months, it's important to not only keep yourself cool and hydrated, but don't forget about your pets and livestock. News 11's Valeria Rodriguez shares some tips to keep your animals safe. From dogs and cats to cattle and sheep, all animal owners should know how to take the necessary steps to keep their animals cool and happy. Local authorities ask you to remember that animals during these times of high temperatures. When it comes to pets, never leave them alone inside a car. This is not the time of year to do that. It gets hot in those cars and it gets hot very quick. Even if you crack the window a little bit, it can get scorching hot in there. If caught with the pet in a locked car, you could face criminal charges and fines. Beside pets, livestock also need some help to be protected from the heat. We recommend that, especially with this hot weather we're having right now, that you have plenty of shade and water, clean water, and a source of water that, that they can get to. 
uh, especially this time of year. A horse or a cow can drink 15 to 20 gallons of water on a real hot day. Yuma County Posse Lieutenant Dean Morgan also advises for livestock owners to not feed their animals while it is hot due to the increase in body temperature while eating. One community member found a way in how she can still allow her furry friend to safely enjoy the outdoors. We bring her here. She doesn't like the water, so she won't go in there. But we come here and let her walk the park and cool off, and I always bring her full water for the end of her walk. Remember to keep them hydrated and be on the lookout for heat-related illness symptoms. Reporting in Yuma, Maria Rodriguez, News 11. Coming up, gearing up for summer fun, we share the excited new plans the Boys and Girls Club of Yuma is putting on for the kids. Sales. Big O Sales. It's our Scorchin' Summer Sales Event. Save up to $100 on select tires with installation purchase. Plus, zero interest if paid in full within 12 or 6 months. Big O Tires. At Houston's Yuma Furniture, we're taking retreat to the bedroom to the next level. With an adjustable base, you can raise or lower your mattress to customize your sleep experience. And let's face it, these days we use our beds for way more than just sleep, whether it's reading, scrolling, or to Netflix and chill. Plus, besides comfort, elevating your head and your feet is great for circulation. So update your mattress with an adjustable base to create the ultimate chill zone. From Houston's Yuma Furniture. When you need understanding, to stay informed about our world, about Yuma and the Imperial Valley, there's one source where news comes first. With more journalists in the field. Organizers are registering people to vote at these protests. And long-term water projects in Arizona's 2023 budget. More coverage. With News 11, you're covered. You're informed. Your news source for 24-7 news on KYMA.com and the News 11 app. Teens everywhere are getting hooked one puff at a time. What besides nicotine are in these vapes? You are going to be shocked. There have been pesticides found in these cartridges. Serious chemicals like diacetyl or formaldehyde. I started coughing up blood. I could die. Should you be vaping? No. Why do you do it? Next, Dr. Phil. Spring is here, and the time to drive away in a new Hyundai has never been better. Visit Imperial Valley Hyundai today. With the hottest new lineup of Palisades, Tucsons, and Konas, and more arriving daily, you can still get the dream ride of your choice. Shop and buy 100% online, or check us out in the Imperial Valley Auto Park. Feel confident with America's best warranty, 10-year, 100,000 miles, and owner's assurance when you drive a new Hyundai. Visit ivhyundai.com today and experience the difference. continues now. After a ribbon cutting ceremony in the spring, the Yuma Boys and Girls Club moves ahead with summer programs. News 11 Chanel Ramos visited, visited the club today and shares more on what's being offered. <laughs> 